So, this is a Corsair H50-1 all-in-one liquid cooler. And I've had this for about seven years. And it's been cooling down my CPU. And it's been working wonderfully, for, for, for the most part. Until I upgraded. I upgraded to the newer i7, and I found that this the, the i7 was running very, very hot. Too hot, considering this is a liquid cooler. So I went in and I, and I touched these tubes, and well, that's, 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 that's too hot, there's something wrong here. Um, I went out and I bought H100, put that in, wonderful, everything's fine now. So there might be, or well, there must have been a fault, is what I, I came to decide. Um, I did some research online and, and I looked that, okay, maybe the pump's gone, or maybe uh, maybe the pump's not circulating, or maybe the fan wasn't working properly, or, or something has happened, or the next thing that maybe the liquid over seven years has evaporated and it's not got enough in there to be effective. Um, considering the age of it, I, I wouldn't be surprised if that was a factor. So I decided that um, I needed to look and find out what the problem was with this. And then I also wanted to put it to cool down my GPU because I can get an adapter for it and then it would help my GPU run a little cooler. Um, when I first tested this, I found that if I put this up in my GPU, on the GPU, and then I have to bend that, and, and the tubes just weren't long enough. They just weren't long enough. So, um, after some research, I decided that I'm going to get rid of these tubes and replace them with new ones. And to do that, I have got myself a little reservoir, just to make life easier for refilling. I uh, bought this on eBay. It was very cheap. Um, I don't quite trust the seal, so I'm going to use some plumber's tape on that um, to help seal that and I've got some I got some aquarium tubes for fish tanks um, to to replace the tubes and this is this is a six millimeter tube again very cheap from eBay um, so everything should work I haven't actually checked that the nipples I've got on this will fit this tube I should really do that um, and uh, yeah so I'm gonna I'm gonna go get myself a bowl of water a bowl of water a bowl I'm gonna go get myself a bowl so I can pour the water or whatever is in here, into there, drain it out, connect new tubes to it, flush it, and uh, hopefully find that it's working, and then I should be able to put this on my GPU at some point. Um, and since I didn't find any video on how this was done, I thought I'm going to record myself doing this for educational purposes. So yeah, I'm going to get myself a bowl, and uh, I'll be right back. So before I went and got my bowl, I thought I'd double check that I can get the tubes on these fittings. And with a great deal of effort, I have managed to get this one on, but only just, only just got on there. Um, I think I'm going to have to try and warm up the tube to try and get that all the way in. So I'm back. I've got my bowl. I've also put on some rubber gloves. I don't know what's in this. I don't really want it on my skin. God knows what it is. So I've got my bowl. I'm going to put the I'm going to put the pump in my bowl, or well, over the bowl as much as I can. Get the get the power cable out of the way as much as I can, and I'm just going to get some snips. Let's see if I can snip this. Maybe I might need some bigger snips. I need some bigger snips. Okay, I'm going to get some bigger snips. Alright, I'm back with some bigger snips. Hopefully now I'm going to be able to cut this and make myself not look like an ass. Okay, here we go. No gunning back now. I've started. So, we'll get that in there. So you can see everything. I'm not going to get water over. Do you know what? Right, I'm going to try again now. But this time, I've put some paper towels down, just in case there's some splash. I don't really want to get, I don't want to get everywhere wet. So, let's see what the best way of doing this. I think that's probably it. That's probably it. Let's get the power cable out of the way. Let's get some snips in there. And here goes nothing. Now, from my understanding, there are two screws, two very long screws, which hold on this plastic cover. So I'm just going to try and screw, take those screws out. I've got my, my electric screw remover, also known as an electric screwdriver. So, what can we 
see here. You can see the tubes going inside. There's a bit of dust. I might just go try and see if I can get some rid of some of that dust. And then there, this is this is where the connectors are. So, from my understanding, is I'm going to have to use my hobby knife, hobby knife, and sort of slice and pull. But the underside is plastic, so I don't want to cut too hard. Um, I don't want to damage it because that will be it. That will be the end of it. Um, I won't be able to replace the hoses then. So, what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do this next. I'm not going to do this next. Even I'm going to cut the tubes off the radiator because that's metal. So I'm going to try with that first, and then I'm going to come back to this. I'm just going to. I'm just going to do an incision. check that the new tube I've ordered here is going to fit on the fittings of this of this uh, radiator. Let's just check that uh, it's all going to fit snug. Perfect. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. That's going to fit perfectly. Not a problem. Okay, right then. Let's do the hard bit. Let's remove the tubes from the pump. Okay, that's the hard bit. Let's see if I can cut into this without damaging the pump. Here we go. thing to do now is um, try and cut up the lengths for the new tube and uh, tidy this up a bit. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken my two meters of tube and I've chopped them into approximately half meter lengths. And I'm going to have my outlet port flow from the outlet to the inlet flow of my pump. And then from the outlet flow, half meter length to the input of the reservoir, uh, to the, sorry, to the to the radiator and then out from the radiator back to the reservoir. So I have put in my flow in and out on the pump and one out in on the radiator. I'm now just going to put in this last half meter length of tube from the radiator to the reservoir. So that is just just a quick note. Um, I've just put the, the cover back on this pump. Um, if you're going to do this as well, don't, put, don't connect your tubes up to your radiator before you put the pump on. The pump, the, the pump um, has a hole, two holes here which need to, you need to feed the tubes into. I've managed to squeeze it by slightly bending the plastic. I managed to squeeze it on, but it'll be much easier if you do this before you connect all the tubes up. Just something I've learned. I have found an old computer which I'm going to use the fan header of to power up the pump. So I think we're ready to go now, I just need to add the coolant. So I have bought some battery top up water from Halfords, which is just deionized de water. So that's what I'm going to use um, in this loop now. Um, I don't plan to continue using this, I want to get some stuff so it doesn't go mouldy. But uh, that's what I'm going to use at the moment.
Okay, right, after some fiddling, I think I now have actually got managed to get some flow. There's still some air bubbles flo flowing around, but I think I finally managed to get some flow. I can see stuff coming up through the through the, uh, through the the reservoir there, and there's still some bubbles. So I'm now just going to tip that up and just release some pressure. So the air can cut out for a second. There we go. And then, uh, hopefully we can still see that there is some flow. There's definitely some flow going on. Yeah, there's still some flow. It doesn't sound very pretty, but there's certainly flow. So here it is, a fully modded Corsair H50. We have put a new reservoir on it, replaced the tubes to something a bit longer, and it works. Um, I, I've tested this, I put it on a, on a system uh, just to make sure everything was still working, and it cooled it down. So yeah, I'm happy with it. Um, it works. So hopefully, um, I think that's gonna. I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit more changes where I'm gonna have to maybe make the tubes even longer. But now I know it can be done. I don't see that being too much of a problem. And I'll try and build the tubes uh, to match my system if I wanted to say call my GPU, which was my initial intention to do. So yeah. But other than that, um, I'm quite happy with it. Um, it was a, a good little project. I hope um, you learned something too. I will put the links to all the eBay items I bought to make this in the description so if you wanted to try and do it yourself it's all there so if you've got one hanging about like I did um, that you weren't sure what to do with it's a good way of putting a little bit more life into it because um, they are a little bit restrictive so yeah um, yeah thanks for watching and um, uh, see you again